Hey, Ronnie, Brian, what's up? Hey, Brian, how's it going, man? Really good, really good, you know, and uh, mm. I guess just staying in all day, you know? Yeah, so. like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, wow. You, you, I guess you can't get back to Germany? No. 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 Actually, I was supposed to move next month. I was supposed to move to uh, Ireland. Wow. Yeah, and that's all. I don't know. I don't know when I'm moving now. <laughs> I have no idea. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Would have been on tour right now too. <laughs> wow. Well, nobody's yeah. on tour, so you know, join the club. Yeah. You know, tell me a little bit about the new album, Fistful of Fire. Um, it, comes um, out, it came out April third, right? Just a couple of days ago. Yes, April third. Right. Yeah, there was some some questions whether to actually release, uh, you know, since everything that was going on. Um, but we decided that, you know, people still want to hear music just because there's a virus around, you know. Um, right. So let's still do it. And if people are home, they can listen to it. And so that's what we did, you know. There was a really a lot of talk, though, to not do it, but um, to postpone it. But uh, we still we did it anyway. Right, right. Uh, and just hope for the best, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 14 tracks, that's pretty many you know yeah yeah so um um you know uh you did the uh, lyrics on past releases and stuff like that and then the new one mm -hmm. did did you uh you know have any you know you know the way you write and stuff like that uh compared mm -hmm. to the last release uh it, was it any different um no i pretty much did it almost exactly the same way right uh, i mean I, I think i'm only maybe maturing a little bit uh, -huh. uh lyric, lyrics wise um and a little more confidence <clears throat> but um as far as changing the way that I do it I, I didn't really change it at all I kind of still do it the same way right wow and I guess the first single is uh, Rock and Roll Survivor yeah that was the first single um and then after that we released uh, The Devil Made Me Do It right wow and so th those are the two singles that we released right now um but the but the album is out and uh it's available for everybody right and <laughs> that, that, that's on AFM records yes right and people could get it I guess through the mail um, yeah you could get it you could get it anywhere actually you can download it stream it um, you know it's available on Apple Amazon Best Buy uh, through our website through AFM's website um, through Nuclear Blast records right um, <clears throat> yeah it's really pretty much available anywhere cool 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 uh, listening to the the album this morning, uh, I, I would say my favorite song is uh, "When an Old Man Cries." Uh, really? Yeah, I really like that song. You know, yeah, that's a good song. That that's my favorite track. <coughs> but um, you know, you're from Jersey City, right? Uh, well, born in Jersey. I'm, no, I'm, I was born in Jersey City. Yeah. Right. Wow. But I, I live in I live in Fairview. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. So you know, you're a Jersey boy. Did you ever think any day that uh, you know? You know, you'd be at this point in your life. No, never. Right, yeah. <laughs> never just, in a million years. You know, I, I mean, could never have pictured this. I mean, you made a big climb. You know, from you know your yeah. early days until yeah. now, and uh, you know, Germany bonfire. You know, amazing band, legendary, basically. You know. Yeah, and it's not—it's not even a local band. It's like an international thing so it's it's really cool for me man. I mean I love it I, I love doing it I love Europe I love writing the songs I, I love touring so this is great for me I, I'm totally digging it man wow uh, what's the feeling different from playing Jersey clubs to being in Germany playing <laughs> well uh, <clears throat> in the Jersey clubs I always found you know especially if you're an unknown band right um, people more skeptical or afraid to get into it. Right. You know what I mean? Or some people are like, eh, I don't feel like driving today. I don't feel like going now. Blah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and over there, people really go out all the time and support music and they go to see music. In the summer, there's huge festivals and, uh, you know, anywhere from they have festivals with a thousand people and then they have festivals with a hundred thousand people. Right. And there might be two festivals every weekend. Wow. All over Germany. And it's constant, you know. And that that doesn't happen here. Right, yeah. Definitely. Definitely you know? not. You know. When, when you're on stage with, like, a, a huge crowd, what's that feeling like looking out there? 
That's awesome, man. That's really awesome. Um, and sometimes I, it's it almost seems more, you know, like people have asked me that before in the past. Like right. you, you play you play in front of a big crowd like that, aren't you nervous? And I mean, the first time I ever did it, maybe like you know, a long time ago, and it wasn't even in bonfire. Right. And I was a little bit nervous, but it's actually harder to play in front of less people because the more, it seems like the eyes are more on you. Right, yeah. When there's so many, when there's so many eyes, you don't know what they're looking at. So right. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit different, you know. So well, once you get over that first time of doing it, then it's like, you know, right. that I would rather, I would not rather be any place except for on a stage with, you know, right. hundred thousand people right. if I could do it all the time, you know. Wow, How, how's it uh, about giving out autographs and stuff? Say you got a huge crowd. Do you do, you do everybody that uh, asks for autographs? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I usually. After every show, uh, we normally in the past we used to do this. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it anymore, <laughs> but we we would go to the the merchandise booth, you know, and and talk with the fans and sign autographs and and do whatever they you know take right. pictures, and uh, you know people always like that. And um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that anymore. <laughs> right, yeah. I don't true. know. I, I don't know. You know. I mean, uh, even when we were talking about it before the the tour actually got moved. Um, we're like, okay, well, well, we'll do the shows, but we can't have any kind of meet and greets or anything like this, you know. Right. So, I'm not sure how it's going to be when we get back. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if they're going to kind of frown upon that. Um, True. Yeah, no, no, no. <clears throat> which, which kind of sucks because I, I like doing that and I like meeting the people personally, you know. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, man. Cool. Uh, tell tell me a, bit, a little bit about the the writing process. How how long did this take you? Um, I would say the the whole thing took us about maybe three months, uh -huh. and the studio took probably a month. Uh huh. And you know, um, and it usually what happens is we'll, we'll get into okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a record now. So I'll just say, does anybody have any songs? Right. So you know, everybody send their songs in, and then we all pick you know the songs that we're gonna go and use. Um, <clears throat> and then we they're demoed at that point already right so you know you, you can't really submit a song and just say hey man I have this chord you know <laughs> yeah. so the, the way that we do it is like you know you, you want to submit a song give me the song that's already finished right yeah. basically wow. not, not finished right but the basic of the song is all there and, and recorded you know of course that's not the drum beat you use some just like a drum loop or something but Basically, the song is there, so you can tell the structure of the song, um, and it, it might not be without any lyrics or any melody, vocal melody. Right. And then that's that's when I, I work together with Hans on the on the vocal melodies, right? And then I and then I put the lyrics to it. Cool, cool, cool. And then we go into the studio and then record everything. Wow. Now, when you're in the United States, uh, what do you miss most about Germany? Um, Lieber Casey. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually um, like a liver. Um, I, I, I can't even explain it. Uh -huh. It's it's a sandwich. It's basically a sandwich. It's, uh -huh. it's and it's made with cheese and and they and they make it somehow when they process it. They process it with ice. So there's like little air bubbles in it, but it's kind of a cross between like a hot dog and bologna. Uh -huh. oh. wow. <laughs> but it, but people eat it like you know like around eleven o'clock or something uh -huh. like that. Wow. And um, yeah, so I missed that because that really actually tastes really good, and I like those. Uh -huh. um, and also the the food there, the, all the food there is just amazing. I bet you. It's really, uh -huh. That's really great, and the beer, of course, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So when you're over in Germany and, and you're staying whatever six months a year, what do you miss about America? Uh, the things I miss about America are ice cubes, uh. and pillows, uh -huh. because they have these huge like fe like down pillows, right. and I just I, I just can't stand them. Yeah, I hate them wow. because you have to roll them up like into a ball. Oh, right. Wow. And the, and the other thing I hate is uh, a lot of places don't have air conditioning. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, and that's it's hard very for me. strange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's very hard. So I have like you know I have. A place that I always stay when I when I go there. So I have some of my own things there. I have a bicycle. Right. I have a fan. I have a fan. <laughs> wow. I bought a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! 
Yeah, but I mean, it's. Uh, I would say the most thing that I always run into is ice. Yeah. For some reason, ice is like diamonds over there. Wow. Like you, if you say, um, yeah, can I get a, a, a cola with ice? Right. You know, you have to first of all, you have to tell them that you want ice, otherwise they won't put any ice in it, and they'll fill it all the way up to the top. Right. And I don't know. To me, that's not how you're supposed to drink a coke. <laughs> you're supposed to have a lot of ice in it, and and then it kind of melts together. And, right. Yeah. Wow. You know. Yeah. Are you kind of surprised that, like, really Hans, you know, let you have free will in doing things for the band? Um, I mean, no, not really. I mean, I, I'm not shocked. I don't do anything. Uh, totally make decisions right. you know he always makes final decisions uh-huh. but uh he, he always encourages input and likes input and you know if you come up with a good idea he's like sure yeah it sounds like a great idea let's do it wow you know? so so yeah it, there's not really any kind of problems that way right yeah i mean even with the video rock and roll survivor i watched today mm-hmm. uh i mean he gave everybody you know you know screen time uh on on that video not not just like basically focusing on him. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean he, he doesn't he doesn't really do anything like that. Like you know, hey, it's all about me. Right. You know, he wants it, he wants it to be a band. It's just that it's his band. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he has the final say as to what happens with anything. Right. Wow. And who came up with the name of the band? Uh, the album. Um. Actually, I believe that was me. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did actually. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. We're cool. so we're looking for a cool name of it, and um, you know, we we've thrown about around a bunch of different names, and that one just kind of stuck. And say, yeah, that's, that's perfect, man. Right. So that's that's where it went. Wow. Now, what are your hopes for? Well, you know, the album should do really well. You know, because awesome. I listened to it this morning, it sounds great. Everything, you know, a lot of anthem type songs on there, and some mellow yeah. songs. Uh, so you know it's a good mixture and stuff like that. So that should do really well once you get some, you know, people exposure and stuff like that. But yeah. what about the future of the band? Like, I mean, I know you can't really predict, but um, do you feel that uh, you know if you can't tour, you'll be working on another album? Um, well, yeah. I mean, I think that we will be able to tour and. Uh, we didn't really get to promote this album, which normally, you know, you put it on an album and then you tour, right. promote it. So we didn't actually get to tour yet with this. I would have been on tour right now. Right. So everything that was booked for April, which was like, I don't know, 25 shows or something, it right now it's it's moved to September. Right. Whether it's allowed to happen in September, I don't know. We had a bunch of festivals that were supposed to play in the summer. Right. Um, I really highly doubt that any of those are going to happen right yeah this is just too many it's too many you know too large of a group of people right and we were supposed to do a huge festival in russia and moscow um like in august i think or Uh some september um so i'm not sure if that's going to happen i don't know what the situation is in russia i've been you know watching the tv and all the stuff and they're showing the cases of uh, covid all over the world right and there seems to be a little bit of a blank space around in russia uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> so i'm not sure what's going on over there they're not really saying or they're not reporting or i, right. I don't know wow. so uh i don't know what's going to happen with that but um, I mean, we are booked for it, so I don't know if it's going to get rescheduled or. And there was a couple other festivals also that were rescheduled, so I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Really, I have wow. no idea. Wow. So, you know, it was great talking to you again, and uh, Ronnie Parks you bonfire, too, man. and um, you know, congratulations on the album, and uh, hopefully it does well. And uh, would you like to say anything to the fans in conclusion? Yeah, um, ch- definitely check out the record. It's a really good record. Um, everybody stay safe. Eventually this will be over to some degree. Um, things might be a little bit different for the short time, but, uh, you know, eventually things will get back to normal. So just keep in there, man. Stay home um, and be safe. Thanks a lot, Ronnie. I appreciate the talk. Okay, thanks, Brian. Talk to you later, man. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.